Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks, you must manually align objects to one another by clicking and dragging the objects into position using the grid for alignment of the left and right edges. You must also manually align objects vertically by clicking and dragging the objects and using the grid for alignment. To center two differently sized objects over one another horizontally, you can use the horizontal button within the center button group in the toolbar at the top of the layout designer window. To do this, first align the objects vertically within the form. Select the first object and then click the horizontal button to align the selected object horizontally within the center of the form. Then deselect the first object. Next, select the second object to align horizontally to the first and then click the horizontal button again. As before, the object will align itself with the center of the form. You can then use the multiple selection method to select both objects as a group as they should now be centered over one another and then move the grouped objects as a single unit to the desired destination within the form. Note that if you attempt to perform a multiple selection of objects first and then click the horizontal button, QuickBooks will not center the objects in relation to each other, but rather center the objects as a single unit in relation to the form. So if you want to center objects in relation to each other, use the previous method described instead. You can also change the stacking level of objects within a form. This can be useful when dealing with overlapping images or with text objects that contain a background fill. When you add objects to the form, the newer objects added to the form may appear either on top of or behind older objects within the form if they overlap. You can change the order of overlapping form objects within a stack by first selecting the object whose stacking order you wish to change. Right-click the selected object and roll over the order command in the pop-up menu that appears. From the side menu of choices that appears, either select Bring Forward to move the object to the foreground of the stack, or select Send Backward to send the object to the background of the stack. Sometimes moving stacked objects can disrupt their stacking order. If that occurs when moving an object for which you have already selected the Send Backward or Bring Forward command, then the command will appear grayed out or unavailable within the pop-up menu. If this occurs, you can fix it by selecting each object within the stack individually and choosing the Send Backward or Bring Forward command based on which command is available for each object to reset their positions. Then right-click the objects that need to be brought forward or sent backwards again and choose the desired command from the pop-up menu, which should then be available to reset the positions of the necessary objects within the stack. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.